afternoon. Meteorologist Mike Seidel back in the destruction of what has been classified, at least preliminarily, from the National Weather Service and National as the high-end EF3 tornado on that enhanced Fujita scale. That puts the winds, they're estimating 160 to 165, 166 it's the low end EF4. So we'll see what happens in the final analysis. We still don't know if it's one or two tornadoes, but we just got word from the Weather Service in Nashville that the Cookful tornado, that's the one in Putnam County, that's where we've had at least 18 uh, deaths. And this morning we still had about two dozen folks that are still missing. That has been rated also an EF3 uh, preliminarily. And they I haven't decided, again, if it's one long track tornado. If it ends up being one long track tornado, it'll be the second deadliest twister in March and fifth deadliest overall in the state of Tennessee. More damage as far as the eye can see. We uh, just showed you this house and talked to the owner. That, that was white clean over here. Uh, we've got, again, a lot of volunteers, a lot of friends and family cleaning up the debris. That's one of the big things you have to do before they can get in and even attempt to uh, bulldoze the house. Over here, we've got the chassis. This is a part of a portable. There's two portables that got blown up the road. Now the school is the Donaldson Christian Academy, and it's down the hill. We'll go down the hill here, Rodney. But you can see this is, you know, this is very, very heavy steel. There's one even farther up the road that uh, got blown from the school. The school is a total loss. Let's go down here. And the food truck just came in. That's, that's a good thing. These folks have been out here since uh, the crack of dawn. Fortunately, again today, no rain. Everything's staying south. And right here, we've got Macy Heron, who's a junior. Macy, thanks for joining us. Hi. We just found her uh, out here walking down the street. And I saw your DCA cheerleading shirt. And yes, I thought to myself, <laughs> Donaldson Christian Academy. Yes. And, and we're looking at the school now, and it's, it's in shambles. Uh, how are you feeling? I, I'm kind of in shock right now. I'm, I'm a little devastated. Um, I, I don't really know how to feel about all this. this I've been here for seven years. And, um, a lot all, of memories there. Yes. Uh, I, I just feel the love every time I come in here, every day. And you don't really know how it feels until it, it truly impacts you. And, and by the grace of God, this tornado hit it. 12 35 12 40 a.m. and not p.m. Uh, otherwise it would have could have been a just a horrible even I mean it's bad enough as it is but yes it, it just could have been just really tragic yes I'm, I'm glad that it was in the middle of the night for sure have you talked to your friends and teachers about what they're feeling um, there hasn't been much word out yet about uh, what we're gonna do where we're gonna go but hopefully um, hopefully everything's okay I don't want to say anything that uh, he hasn't said to the public, but right. um, uh, I don't know what we're going to do. I mean, the flood 10 years ago, we've, we've done it before, so we're going to do it again. Yeah, we were here for that flood, too. It came yeah. right off what, the Stony River here and mm -hmm. from the Cumberland. Uh, that, was, uh, that was in May of 10 years ago. Now, what about uh, the situation uh, over the next couple of weeks? So, obviously, they're going to work out a plan where you guys can go. Yes. Um, spring break is next week, so we, we have a week to kind of figure out everything, which is which is good at least. Um, but school is supposed to happen on Monday. After that, we don't know where we're going to go yet. And I'll put you on the spot. Roughly how many students are here from K through 12? Do you know roughly? About 1,200. Wow, that's a lot of kids that are displaced, yes. huh? Yes. Okay. Well, I'm sure you've been on social. You've been talking to your friends and, and teachers and trying to keep everybody's spirits up. Yes, of course. It's, it's hard to stay positive, but um, I know we can do it. We're, we're a good community. Okay. So. Macy Heron, thanks for joining us. Thank you. And good luck and hang in there. Yeah. And everybody's safe. Everybody's okay, correct? Correct, yes. Yeah. Yes. The advantage of, that's one of the advantages, maybe the only advantage of a tornado hitting a school in the middle of the night is exactly. nobody's there. Exactly. Okay. Thanks so much. Thank you. Okay, uh, just... A lot of heartbreaking stories out here. Come around here, we'll see more of the debris. And you, they, they brought the bulldozers in here yesterday, opened up these roads, so getting in here today wasn't too bad. The volunteers, you can see disaster response team, they're cleaning up this yard. Back here we have a front end loader, a small piece of machinery, pushing the corrugated aluminum, trying to get everything in a pile. And then the city comes in and cleans up the debris. Then the rebuilding process can start. Many of these homes are gonna have to be bulldozed. As we talked to one of the owners uh, earlier, he and his wife have insurance. They're just happy to be alive uh, uh, along with their dogs. But not only the school's damaged, but look over there, the, the athletic fields, the poles are down, the light poles are down. The uh, looks like the uh, 
where they have the showers and maybe the concession building, that roof is off, and there have been a lot of uh, repair, a lot of uh, disaster folks back towards the woods. I'm not sure exactly what they're cleaning up and digging through, but they're going to have to bulldoze, bulldoze this school. It's just uh, hard to see. Stay with us. We'll come back here. East Nashville, also we're keeping a close eye on today's tornado threat on the Gulf Coast. Next, with Mark Elliott.